Hey guys, today I just bought the rarest, most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever made, as well as got scammed in the process. Now, today we're going to be talking about the most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever made, excluding the earth metal figs like the bronze, gold, and silver Boba Fett's and C-3PO's, and that is the New York iHeart Yoda. Now, this minifigure is only limited to 1,000 ever made. It was available back in the year 2013 when you go to Times Square in New York City to watch the unveiling of the life-size LEGO X-Wing Starfighter. And the only way you could purchase this figure or get this figure was by being at the parade itself or going to the Toys R Us in New York City in Times Square and purchasing the LEGO X-Wing set. Now, just how rare is this figure? Well, currently, outside of the bag in used condition, this figure goes anywhere from three to five thousand dollars, and brand new sealed in bag between eight to ten thousand dollars. And these are again more of the U.S. based prices, both on Bricklink and eBay. So definitely a very very expensive Lego Star Wars minifigure. However, as you're going to see shortly, this is definitely the most faked. Lego Star Wars minifigure out there as well, and many folks, like myself, can easily get scammed while purchasing it. Alright, so here we have a look at the New York I Heart Yoda, and right off the bat you'd be like, awesome, you were able to buy a used version, hopefully you didn't pay too much, got it for a great deal, but sadly this minifigure is a fake. I was scammed when purchasing this figure, so what exactly makes this figure a fake and how can we be cautious when purchasing this in the future? Well, to do that, I gotta first open up this box right here. All right, so we got quite a bit in this box. We got obviously this really cool New York iHeart Yoda store display. We got the New York iHeart Yoda itself, as well as the X-Wing Starfighter set from 2013 in this box. But we're going to go ahead and focus just on our top two things here in this video. So here you have a New York iHeart Yoda slash Yoda Chronicle store display. Now I don't know the exact story about this, but I do not think you were actually able to purchase this or get it with the figure, as this is a store display, but you, some folks did end up having one of some of these given to them, but I don't think it was available to all 1,000 folks who got that Yoda. And it's quite interesting, this cardstock kind of piece of paper here is worth, last time I checked, an auction went for over $900 for this piece alone. So insane, absolutely crazy, and this is definitely one of the ways you can verify your Yoda is authentic. And we'll jump right into it in this video later on as to exactly how to avoid getting scammed while purchasing this figure. Next off... We have this here, and I think you know what it is. Yeah. Here we have the New York iHeart Yoda itself. So brand new, sealed in bag. And uh, luckily I got a great deal on these three items, paid much less than that eight to 10K range price it is in. So I got really lucky, found some good deals on eBay. But again, you can see there's a look at the New York iHeart Yoda in its sealed package. So those are really the two highlights. And of course, we got the X-Wing fighter set as well, kind of in this acrylic case, which we won't really open. And now let's go in and compare them. And I'll tell you exactly how to avoid getting scammed while purchasing this. All right, so here we have a look at both of the New York Yodas side by side. Now there are four ways you can tell if a Yoda is fake, whether it's in the bag or out of the bag. These are the four ways you can pretty much guarantee your Yoda to be authentic. Now, obviously it is safer to buy the figure in bag, but that doesn't mean you still won't get scammed. Recently I've been seeing folks taking their fake Yodas, making fake packaging and selling it as a sealed one. So there's really risk whether you buy it in the package or outside the package. So hopefully this segment of the video will help you. Now, I've been really researching, kind of looking into these Yodas and the how to verify these are authentic for quite some time. And I've also been able to kind of talk to other folks in the community, kind of get their thoughts. So I really think this is a pretty solid list to make sure your Yoda is indeed authentic. All right, so way number one is 
probably the easiest, and that is the positioning of the heart in the New York Eye Heart torso. Now, you can already probably tell the difference of the positioning of the Y in both of these figures. Here on the fake one, the heart is directly centered under the Y, versus here, the heart is kind of shifted left, so not really centered under that Y. And that's a big giveaway. Pretty much all the opened fakes I've seen on eBay have the heart positioned in the center, which is a dead giveaway, it's a fake. Basically, this heart will always be kind of indented in terms of the print. So the right side of the heart is gonna pretty much skim that piece of the Y, versus the left side of the heart is gonna kind of skim the portion of the N. So that is kind of how you print should be in these authentic Yodas. Naturally, you have this poster here. Now in this poster, you have a picture of the actual authentic New York Eye Art Yoda. You could again tell the heart is shifted, which is how you know that your figure is authentic or not. Now, the second way would be the color of the heart. And it's a bit tough to tell in this video, but you can tell there's a slight difference in the color of the heart. This one's a much darker red here on the fake, versus the real one is a bit of a brighter red. And again, this is a bit tricky because of everyone's cameras may take photos differently, and it's also obviously a bit tough to tell here in this video. But there'll be a little bit of a difference in the color of the heart. Also, the shape of the heart, you could see it's a bit more rounded uh, and a bit larger on the authentic one versus this one, it's a touch smaller as well. That is the second way, and again, that one obviously may not be the easiest because of the fact that the cameras could have different ways of taking photos. All right, the number three we have is the TM. Now the TM, if you can see, has a slight bit of a cut to the print. So the TM, if you look at the corner of the, is actually missing a portion of that M. So it's kind of cut off. Now that is one way to show that it is indeed authentic. Now this fake is actually quite good where they also did do a bit of a cut off of the M, a little more sloppily, but they did get that cut off in the M. And that is definitely one other way you can tell, but there are definitely many Yodas where if that TM is completely printed, it is pretty much guaranteed a fake. And if we look at the poster once again, you can see the M is also a bit misprinted, cut off at the right side. Now we get on to number four, and that is the quality of the print of the N, Y, and I. Now this fake's quite good, where they pretty much perfected the N, Y, and I size of the print, the kind of quality of the print, it's pretty much spot on. So this is in that way a pretty solid fake, but the only really fake thing about it being that the heart was positioned wrong and had a touch of a different darker red color. That wasn't the case. This could easily have fooled me and fooled many others probably as well to being authentic. But really, I'm gonna put some photos here on the screen. There are definitely those fakes where you can tell the new NYI print is kind of bolded, kind of fat, and if you look, What's supposed to happen is the N and Y are barely supposed to touch, similar to what you see in this poster. The N and Y are barely touching, but usually don't actually kind of squish together. So many of these fakes, the N and Y tips kind of blend together, and that also is able to tell it's a fake. Now, there are definitely a bit of a kind of variety of different types of print where there are a few authentic New York I Heart Yodas where the print is just a touch thicker, but it is still authentic. So again, the print quality, it just has to be these kind of thin type of letters and you know, the N and Y barely touching. And then also if you see the positioning of the I, it should kind of be right under the N, which this fake actually did pretty well. Those are really the four different ways, once again, the positioning and size of the heart, the color of the heart, the TM on the bottom right, as well as the kind of font of the N, Y, and I. So those are really the four ways, and then I guess an extra fifth way, you also want to make sure the heart is kind of larger than the I, 
which this one did pretty well, but it's again a bit of a smaller sized heart if you look at the two side by side. Those are kind of all the ways you can make sure your new girl guy heart Yoda is authentic. Now, if you want one more step of verification, what would you do? Well, I would suggest getting this poster. Now, this poster, again, wasn't available with all the Yodas, but if possible, you can get this poster. That pretty much also guarantees that your figure is authentic. It's kind of like a receipt to actually purchasing that authentic Yoda figure. Because of the fact that this poster is just not easy to fake. It's, this poster is kind of a unique material. It is kind of this cardstock paper with this kind of high quality print. It's definitely not easy to fake. So that definitely also shows that it's kind of a verification slash receipt that you did end up having a authentic one. If you want to go a step further, actually having that Toys R Us receipt from back in 2013 when the person actually purchased it. I'll have a couple pictures of these receipts on the screen. Again, it'll have this kind of a stamp on it as well. Now, if you have that, it's guaranteed you have the authentic Yoda, as that is the best way to verify that in this poster are these great second step verifications to prove that you do have the authentic NYI heart Yoda. That was a look at the video. Again, sadly, I did get scammed. I purchased this figure probably a couple years back before the price skyrocketed. I think at that time, the figure was about one to $2,000 out of the bag. And yeah, I purchased it. Honestly, I'll tell you, I purchased it for over $500 from a reputable eBay seller. Yeah, it was a fake, not scam. So it was really tough that I got scammed on this one. Luckily, I didn't pay the thousands of dollars for this that it's worth, that these open ones are worth now, so I got lucky. As for the sealed one, again, I won't go as to how much I paid for it. I will say thousands of dollars. It wasn't cheap, but definitely well under the 8 to 10k market price. And again, this, along with the poster, which is, again, worth almost a thousand dollars, and the set, which is worth a couple hundred, I personally think I got probably one of the better deals on these figures brand new. But anyways, there's a look at the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Again, it's definitely a very sought after figure, only a thousand made, kind of the holy grails for most of the folks is Lego Star Wars collections. And it's always tricky and it's tough getting scammed, but hopefully this video can help you guys with some kind of points to watch out for and hopefully make your New York I Heart Yoda buying process in the future a bit more simpler, kind of get a bit of that stress off. I know I was definitely quite stressed when purchasing this figure for the second time. But again, if you've kind of followed the points in this video, as well as if you potentially have some of these second verifications like the poster and the receipt, you will pretty much be guaranteed to purchase an authentic New York I Heart Yoda. And finally, where can you purchase this? eBay and Bricklink are the two sources I would go for. Facebook, it's tricky because Facebook, even Mercari, a lot of fakes. Honestly, there are fakes on eBay as well. But I think in terms of the guaranteed, you can also find authentic ones. eBay and Bricklink would probably be the best to go. I'll pop up a few more photos of authentic ones on the screen as well as fake ones, just so you can get a better idea. But again, hopefully this video helped. Thank you so much for watching found this video helpful, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you all next time.